air conditioner blowing on me this morning and it feels good. You know, air conditioning companies are essential businesses right now and the hotter it gets, the more essential they become. If your air conditioner is older than 2010, it likely still runs on R22 Freon, which has been banned by the EPA. So what decisions are you facing if your system is on its last legs? Summer is around the corner, and for homeowner Vincent Vitito, the thought of nursing his old air conditioner through another long, hot season kept him up at night. It was just making a lot of noise that I was concerned about, and there were, I think there was at least one or two instances last summer where we thought it actually went out, and the kind of the fear that's involved with that, where you're, you're like, hey, it's 115 degrees outside, I think my AC might have just broken. That's not a good feeling. So he and his wife did their homework and called Chad Diamond with Alaskan Plumbing, Heating and Air. They asked a lot of questions and weighed all of their cooler upgrade options. Comfort was a big one that we were really focused on. Uh, I know that he was really concerned about the refrigerant and what it's doing to the environment, you know, because he's replacing like, like two to three gallons per year is I think what was uh, told to me. When you start adding up all the repairs versus getting into a new system and having the warranties in place and you know there's so much more certainty that comes with the replacement and then you have a fixed cost. The rusted out system being replaced ran on phased out R22 Freon like so many still do in Southern Nevada. But with the clock ticking on supply, eventually those systems will be obsolete. So the Vitatos chose a cutting edge inverter technology by Daikin. Still new to the U.S., it's smaller, quieter, and incredibly efficient. Well, the original technology is all the way on, all the way off, and that's kind of like uh, stop and go traffic. It's like a dimmer switch, so it slowly ramps up, and then it hovers wherever it's needed. So it's more like being on the freeway. You get a lot more miles per gallon. You don't have the wear and tear on the, on the engine and the other support functions like brakes. And when we look at the value and the standpoint of the monthly savings, the comfort that we get, the peace of mind, it, it made sense to us. Not everyone can afford to make the costly switch or needs to yet. If you're taking care of your equipment and it's working, you know, keep going. We still work on our 22 systems, so it's it's not like the sky is falling. And before it does, Chad says plan ahead and definitely use a certified installer. Just anticipate the problem because I want you to be loving me for 15 to 20 years versus being really frustrated that you got forced into making a decision, you know, because your unit was broken and you had no choice. Well, if you have two units and only one of them breaks and needs to be replaced, now Chad says that you can replace just one of them and you can actually have a split system running, one running on R22, the other one running on new refrigerant, uh, but use contractors who are certified, who really know how to install a split system or even a brand new system if that's the way you choose to go because it is tricky and you really have to have someone who knows what they're doing. Now, there are stockpiles of R22. Uh, some companies use reclaimed 22. It gets pulled out of old systems, it gets saved, and it gets reused. And there are substitutes for R22. There are other refrigerants. So again, as Chad said, the sky is not falling, but you do need to think about in the years to come, could be a year or several years from now, phasing out a system that has R22 or turning over to a new, more energy efficient and eco-friendly system. Not all AC companies carry the same thing or do the same service, so please ask around, do your research, your homework, and know what you're getting into before you, um, you know, before you take the leap, because it is quite an investment if you are going to change out your AC system. Alex, John.